She's holding that in a ball gown dress in August in Georgia. <laughs> You know, I don't know about you guys, but I have a love-hate relationship with Californians. I mean, it's it's always going to be one or the other, you know? I mean, when COVID happened, there was this big migration of people that came down here to Georgia, primarily from California and New York. They were coming down here like crazy. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll stop the story I'm going to tell you to tell you a side story. I had this guy call me really to come out and look at a really, really nice house in Atlanta, and I get out there and the roof is literally brand new. And I kind of showed up, I said, sir, I was like, there's nothing wrong with your roof. And he said, oh, no, 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 me and my partner uh, are remodeling this house and we don't like the color of the roof, so we want to replace it. I said, well, this is like a $25,000 roof, so you're just gonna pay 25 grand to get this roof replaced? And he goes, oh, is that all, is that it? Yeah, where do I sign? And I was thinking, oh my gosh, these guys have so much money. So again, love the money that they brought into the state during COVID, but um, the story I'll tell you today is kind of gives you a little bit of the other side. So I had this, uh, this lady call me. She was a referral from one of our real estate agents. And so I show up and a beautiful part of town down by Berkeley Lake, Duluth, Georgia, really nice area. So I show up, knock on the door. And when I knock on the door, she comes and she has a like Asian ensemble going on. Now she looks just like I do. She's got the toothpicks running through her hair and all that stuff. And she's got some kind of like long flowing gown thing on. I was like, oh, whatever. And so we were talking. I said, well, who's your insurance company? And she said, it's Cincinnati. And I said, oh, wow, it's, it's big money. Cincinnati's actually a really good insurance company, a little more expensive, but they take care of you. And she leaned in. She said, oh, I know. She said, I got Cincinnati because they're the only insurance company that would give me earthquake insurance. And I said, earthquake? She said, yeah. I said, well, you're in Georgia. So you're not in California anymore. We don't have earthquakes. She said, well, I was at a place where I do my visioning. And I, I guess... For Californians, I guess that's where they lick toads and drink tea or whatever they do. They sing Kumbaya or whatever. And she said, I had a vision that I was going to die in an earthquake. So I got earthquake insurance for, for my house. And I said, I wanted, I didn't say this, but I wanted to say, shouldn't you have bought life insurance? But anyway, anyway, whatever. So we proceed with the process. And her, she's, she's nice. And so we kind of get things going. And then I meet her... I don't know what to really call him. He's like her live-in handyman boyfriend thing. And he's also got some kind of wild ensemble because every day is a theme or so, I don't know. But again, nice people. And so he's talking about his background in the film industry and working with movie stars and all that. And I thought it was pretty inter interesting and pretty kind of entertaining to hear. And he leaned in and he said, did you know Leonardo DiCaprio is secretly gay? And I said, no. I said, are you speaking from personal experience? And I kind of laughed and he's like, oh, I am. I, I talked with him and he's secretly gay. And I said, oh, okay. I mean, he's still a great actor. I, I still love watching those movies. But anyway, neither here nor there. And um, so <laughs> just kind of odd people, but still nice people, right? And so we get the process going, get the roof approved through their insurance company. And she picks this really, as you could predict, really in, like eccentric color. It's called Merlot. And so we get the project scheduled, putting the roof on. The roof's almost finished. And she calls me, and she's in a panic. She's going crazy. They got the wrong color going on the roof. And so I'm freaking out. I call my team leader. I said, hey, send me a picture of the roof. You know, did logistics make a mistake or what happened? And he said, no, it's the right color. He's like, send me a picture of it. He's like, it's Merlot. This is the color we order on this job. I'm looking at the ticket here. And so she's mad. So I get, I go flying up the project, get the project. She's out there in some other kind of now like, like dress thing. She's got like a full like ball gown dress on. Keep in mind, this is like August in Georgia. It's hot. She's got like a ball gowned, like a little toddler girl would wear like a ball gown dress like really weird anyway whatever and so i'm thinking oh my. i mean 
Man, I think she was more confused than a claustrophobic turtle. I mean, she just, just nothing made sense to this woman. So I get there. She's telling my guys to stop working, telling them to tear off the roof. Now they're starting to take the roof off. So I was like, what are we going to do? We're just going to stop tearing, stop putting the roof on, tear it off. And then you have an open roof. We need to finish it. So we finish it. She's mad. And so she's swearing it's the wrong color. And I said, well, let's put the sample board on the shingles and we'll see if it's the right color or not. And so, but she has a fear of heights. And again, I, the roof is like barely a story off the ground. I mean, I said, do you only get on the roof, just, you know, just this flat roof, just, just come to the top of the ladder. She didn't want to do that. So now her husband, mechanic, handyman thing, I don't know. They had an interesting relationship. They slept on different sides of the house and stuff. I don't know, whatever. And so he is now standing in this neighborhood, very prominent neighborhood, by the way, standing in this neighborhood holding up the sample board people are driving by looking like what is going on here looks like he's selling something and she is out at the road with binoculars but not like bird watching binoculars like the theater spectacles you know the ones you hold with a little handle and hold up your eyes and squint she's holding that in a ball gown dress in august in georgia just painting this picture for the kind of chaos that's ensuing here I think she licked too many toads in her vision sessions or whatever. But anyway, so she proceeds to tell me we got we got to get this worked out. So she agrees to pay us for the job. She goes after the manufacturing company, huge manufacturing company. She gets the them to reimburse her and gets them to agree. So she's threatened to get a lawyer and stuff. Gets them to agree that the roof is the wrong color. After all of this, she calls me and she says, hey, thank you again for all your help with everything. I'm sorry if we were a little bit hard to deal with. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no joke. And she says, oh, but we're actually not going to change the roof now that we got all this payment from the manufacturing company. We're just going to keep it the way that it is. So I say all of that to say, you know, if you're, you know, down, down south, you know, people are coming in. It's a great thing. You get to meet people from different cultures, different environments. You learn a lot. You get to kind of expand your horizons. But if you ever show up to sell a job and somebody answers the door and they've got toothpicks in their hair or they're wearing a ball gown dress, I would advise you run the other way. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.